Hello, my name is Tim Schmaltz. I am a Catholic sculptor, and what I have here is one of my latest designs. I have been thinking about the Divine Mercy for a while now, and it's hard as a sculptor to think about how to represent a sculpture of a painting, and essentially with the Divine Mercy, that's the focus, is a two-dimensional object. And so here in this design, what I've created is something that is absolutely phenomenal in its newness, in its, in its, in its creativity, how it uh, represents something relatively traditional, the painting of, of the uh, Divine Mercy. And what this does is, unlike a painting which you have to put under glass, you have to put uh, indoors, this Divine Mercy, uh, because it's relief sculpture, can be put outdoors on the side of a street, cast in bronze, it'll last forever. As you can see, St. Faustina is part of it. She's holding up this portrait, the portrait of the Divine Mercy. And she's also not only presenting this to the viewer as she presented the Divine Mercy to the world, she's also acting as a structural support for the piece. Uh, there will be a threaded rod within there, so basically, um, the, when one looks at the sculpture, it'll look like it's suspended in midair, miraculously floating the frame is, but then, you know, with... Uh, in reality, it's just the figure of St. Faustina that's holding her up. But you can notice her hand is pointing or gesturing to what you have to see, which is very important, and that, that is the text that's underneath the Divine Mercy image, Jesus, I trust in you. So having the figure, the shape of her, the striations, will ascend upwards. Her arm will pull your attention over to the bottom statement, Jesus, I trust in you. The rest is basically very traditional. And so, basically, as St. Faustina uh, commissioned a painter or uh, kind of critiqued the painter to paint the Jesus just like her vision, I will conform to that, that, that vision and I will allow a lot of spiritual elements to be surrounding it. Uh, these cherub figures, these spiritual angels, will create a very unique frame and, and charge it with this electricity of life and spirituality. This certainly is a very unique way of, of presenting the Divine Mercy, still retaining all of the traditions of it. I first got that idea of taking uh, something that is flat and making it three-dimensional with a very popular sculpture of mine, and this is St. Juan Diego, as you can see here. Um, St. Guadalupe, uh, how do you do Our Lady of Guadalupe, I mean, um, in a sculpture form? Well, this is what I came up with. Bang, it is so loved. Uh, actually, one of the cast, the original cast, is at uh, Guadalupe in Mexico. But here I am taking a, uh, a something that's flat and bringing it uh, to life in a context of its history uh, with having its saint there. Very similar with this. And I think both of them are very uh, exciting ways of interpreting something that's always been interpreted the same old way. This takes the, 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 the history, but it also adds something a little bit more to it and a little bit more special. Thanks.